कम मेजर इश्यूज इन पाकिस्तान इकानमी एंड वे फॉरवर्ड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द मेजर इश्यूज कन्फ्रंटिंग पाकिस्तान इकानमी एंड एट द एंड वी विल पुट इन सम सोल्यूशन रिगार्डिंग दिस इशू एज वी नो दैट पाकिस्तान हैज सफर्ड एंड हैज बीन मडलिंग थ्रू a financial crisis currently and uh, its economy is uh, staggering on collapse due to possible political crisis the rupee uh, plunging and inflation at decades high level devastating floods and a significant shortage of energy or uh, similarly uh, the low growth rates high levels of debts uh inflation low productivity and poor competitiveness are they among other factors contributed to the wide step uh, spread uh, poverty and slow development in pakistan so solving the key problems of pakistan and its vibrant uh, and its vibrant society therefore requires overcoming the economic uh, calamities uh, pakistan has uh, facing for too long uh this would be a very brief one but uh, i will try my best to cover all the related areas so right he starts from uh, the historical background of uh, this uh, important lecture that uh, right he uh, start from its uh, birth like uh, uh, its inception pakistan faced uh, pakistan is still facing uh, uh, the critical situation like the uh, transferring of the assets from the british so the major portion being uh, given to the other side and uh, still pakistan in want of those shares so that was problem and then the water crisis uh, which was being resolved in 1960 by indo-pacific treaty and migration of the immigrants and many more and then war with the Uh, with india at, or over kashmir issue and many more so i will discuss uh, i will just mention and uh, i will focusing here on economic one that uh, moving forward uh, so uh, uh, means focusing on uh, mainly focusing pakistan mainly focusing on agriculture sector so they give concentration to it uh, and they try their best to cover so we uh, so they they means progressed and uh, then he called the era uh, golden era of the 1960s 60s as a golden era so then in 70s uh, so from privatization to nationalization so uh, since 80s uh, uh, distortion started and uh, in their policies uh, for development and growth uh started then and still it is uh, suffering and uh, means plunging in that very situation uh there are some uh, uh, means uh, key areas uh, on which uh, pakistan uh, is facing that very problem economic uh, problem economic uh, the first one is uh, maybe uh, validity of uh, volatility of uh, exchange uh, rate that is uh, the second one is high inflation rate in pakistan we seen uh, the growing debt burden means each citizen each pakistani is uh, facing are uh, uh, facing uh, 2200 and uh, 2 lakh 21 thousands uh he each pakistani have to pay uh, as a debt on it and uh, similarly floods uh, caused uh, damage to pakistan's economy mostly uh, uh, unemployed it created unemployment and uh, added uh, poverty uh, then uh, pakistan's uh, Uh, falls low level of uh, human development index hdi and pakistan comes at uh, 161 number throughout the world uh, which is a uh, very alarming and second number in south asia after sri lanka uh, 
then comes a financial crisis in Pakistan, which all these factors contributing to the uh, economic uh, failure in the country. Uh, right? Uh, next. There are uh, broader lines of uh, showing uh, the, the key areas which shows uh, the economic uh, problem for Pakistan. The first one, that is a political one, a political, political lines uh, means uh, political instability in Pakistan or we can say unpredictable, unpredictable political system in Pakistan. Uh, even though it is a democratic setup, but uh, it is uh, unpredictable and un uh, instability we see, uh, like uh, protests, strikes, and dharnas, etc. Uh, world has witnessed all this. Administrative uh, loopholes in the system, like mismanagement and uh, corruption, etc., are the major ones. Similarly, uh, uh, abandoning the economic policies in the mid of the session or mid of the session of any of the democratic setup. So, it creates a lack of structural process and uh, discontinuity in the policies, etc., which uh, hinders the way of uh, progressing and uh, development and uh, as a result influencing the whole and downfall in the economic. It's a lack of, uh, and also lack of, it creates, it's a link, link one, and it creates a lack of confidence in the investors. So, uh, stakeholders uh, is shy to come uh, in their investments, and also uh, depletion of the foreign investment uh, throughout the country, we see. And then concentration of wealth is another that uh, in some uh, somewhere we see that uh, uh, that uh, cases of uh, money laundering has been, uh, been been we see in Pakistan and uh, in the last uh, the blend of external and internal factors uh, like uh, terrorism and smuggling all those uh, so the, all these uh, key areas uh, are very very important which uh, hampering the economic growth in the country. Next we see uh, the bigger one that is the fact, uh, impact of IMF, International Monetary Fund, uh, that uh, Pakistan is unable to pay or uh, repay its uh, uh, debts. So, uh, in order to get, uh, in order to, get uh, to achieve the target set uh, Set to repay the loans, uh, but floods occur there. So again, situation became da down or downfall. Uh, uh, the fulfillment of its uh, conditional ties uh, with uh, Pakistan fails to that, and then macroeconomic trends is another one, and tax reform came. Uh, so in all these cases, uh, it's a hurdle for Pakistan to uh, repay and to come up from the sh from the shackles of uh, that IMF uh, and uh, unfill not can't fulfilling their uh, goals i have mentioned three important areas more uh, uh, in this uh, lecture that uh, the first one which is very very important that is agriculture sector that uh, that Pakistan, though Pakistan is an agriculture country and uh, have a abundance of natural resources, but despite all this, uh, it it is unable to it's unable to fulfill all those. So, uh, fifty percent of the share, although agriculture is fulfilling, but uh, having uh, other uh, discrepancies and shortfalls, it uh, been unable to fulfill. Uh, and to feed the 24th uh, means uh, crore people of uh, this uh, state. So, uh, uh, there are some uh, reasons behind this uh, failure like a lack of livestock and uh, veterinary doctors and hospitals and the style of uh, farming is uh, ancient one. 
old style farming and like other issues like uh, water deficiency and drought and energy shortage so load shedding etc we can say absence of land reforms absence of uh, ecological based cropping patterns non recommended medicines and smuggling of agricultural inputs and outputs as well lack of cooperation between agriculture and service sector and a lack of uh, post harvest technology these and many more others like uh, many other areas on which uh, the agriculture sector is facing and producing not uh, the required results uh, for the peoples of pakistan uh, similarly the second one is uh, manufacturing sector many in manufacturing sector we know that uh, uh, despite uh, depre- uh, depreciating the money uh, rupee uh, then uh, again and again but uh, export is uh, just rise just to 8% uh, issue uh, then then the rise so uh, technologically uh, the country is deficient and uh, uh, its want of new uh, technologically new uh, means uh, in, in in many areas it needs advanced technology uh, supply chain is uh, somewhere it is un- inefficient and not uh, working uh, well in manufacturing sector so uh, there are some other reason that manufacturer manufacturing uh, sector is not producing the uh, results desired results and global export uh, sharing is very fair and very falling behind so these factors uh, in manufacturing sectors also uh, producing not uh, giving uh, fruitful results and the last that is the service sector in the service sector we see that uh, the, the the factors like uh, uh, energy crisis which is a man crisis throughout the state that uh, that the pakistani uh, are facing energy crisis uh, since uh, last two decades and uh, technological uh, the backwardness uh, we see we find and uh, then non uh, sustainable governance means the political ones uh, political one and then uh, uh, fatal casualties uh, in factories like uh, it's a great uh, human and uh, uh, infrastructural loss to the state as well as uh, lack of foreign investment uh, inside the state the policies being shattered due to the uh, onslaught of uh, terrorism like things so so foreign investors uh, are uh, i mean running away from uh, their country or uh, so service sector is not uh, giving uh, fruitful results uh, in the end uh, i am going to suggest some s- solution that uh, along with the, the parliamentarians uh, the uh, the uh, policy makers economist uh, and the leadership and all political parties in pakistan they must be sincere and hope to make uh, it a better place for the foreign investors investors and uh, uh, hopefully there are uh, in way forward uh, there are two major areas on which uh, they must focus like uh, a sound policies uh, they must come with sound policies uh, all these people means uh, which i mentioned earlier uh, and more focus on the execution process uh, and uh, give chance to uh, involvement uh, of uh, private sector as well as investment chances should be uh, more uh, more uh, clear and more broadened one and their contribution should be make more and more and uh, exploring uh, also if they should explore new markets across the globe uh, uh, to make it a progressive and workable so their uh, economic uh, reforms and uh, their their programs uh, should be workable and reforms should be uh, suitable and look like to be practical 
uh, and uh, as I may hope and I hope that it may it be of uh, good use to Pakistan and help to reduce the, its real ban and to make it safe from the default line and uh, ordinary people can build a new economic uh, consensus to overcome the country's economic challenges. Thank you very much.